What's happening, Fringe fam? It's PK here from Fringe Sport, and I am hanging over El Gordito, our new stubby axle bar. Axles are near and dear to my heart because they are so fun to lift on. Now, unless you're a strongman competitor, I wouldn't make it your number one bar, but you might make it your number two or your number three. So let's dive in to what makes El Gordito so much fun. But first, I wanna invite you to join me in our private Facebook group, Garage Gym Revolution. We'll go ahead and link it in the comments below. It is a space filled with positivity of people who are trying to improve their lives through strength. I invite you to join me in there. All right, let's jump into it. So first of all, what exactly is an axle bar and why might you want it? So quite simply, an axle bar is all about this. It's all about grip and a fat bar. So if you think about it, a normal barbell, you're able to actually close your hands completely around it and so you're able to get a really firm grip on it. But not so with an axle bar. An axle bar is like you're gripping a white claw, except there's weight on it and it's not cool. No, I'm just kidding. The axle bar is way cooler than a white claw. But if you think about it, if you're trying to grab your favorite beverage, you're not able to close your fingers around there so if you were actually able to grab a bar made of all of your favorite beverages with weight on it, it's gonna be really stressing to both your grip strength and then also your forearms. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna help you build amazing grip strength, amazing forearms, and then just generally overall an awesome amount of strength. So axle bars come from the strongman community. And what they used to do is they used to just go down to your local pipe fitter store, buy a pipe, weld a couple of stops on it, and then just throw a ton of weight on there. Now, this is an evolution of that design, but oh boy, what an evolution. So let's jump into what makes the stubby axle bar, El Gordito, as we call it around the office from Fringe, so great. So first of all, we have that great axle bar thickness that's really gonna tax your grip, and we have a nice matte powder coat finish. Traditionally, axle bars do not have knurling that cross hatching that's on normal barbells to help you grip. Again, an axle bar is all about working your grip. So it doesn't have any of that cross hatching, but we do have a nice matte powder coat that if you chalk up, it's gonna take chalk real well, or it's just gonna take your grip real well and feel awesome in your hands. So we've covered the grip. The next thing that we've got here is we actually have a bar that standard collars will fit on. I would mentioned before that the origin of axle bars is just some big strong people going down to the pipe store and buying some pipe. And so actually collars don't fit on that pipe because it's slightly off the proper diameter. But you can see here, boom, standard collar fits. I know you may not think that's much, but think about it. For a standard axle bar, you actually have to buy an additional collar that doesn't fit on your normal bars and only fits on this. So with this bar, you've got collars that actually fit because we've got a regulation diameter here. Next thing is, we've got this real nice end cap. Not only is it a nice end cap, but it actually says the weight of the bar on it. And I know you might be thinking, Pete, everybody knows what a bar weighs. Well, do you? If you go and grab a pipe just from the store, you don't actually know what the bar is, and you're not even gonna know how much weight you're lifting. So we make it really clear for you here. The next thing that's really nice is you see these gold rings? They're not just for show. They are there to help you know where to position your hands to do a variety of different lifts. It's real easy to see down here where's the center. It's also easy to use your thumbs and to position your hands appropriately for a lift. Again, it's another thing that you might say, Pete, I know where to put my hands. Well, I tell you what, I'm in Austin, Texas. It gets super hot here. I've done strongman stuff, and when you're super hot, you're in the middle of a set, you're super sweaty, you don't know where you're putting your hands. You might be grabbing it slightly off center, and then you're all tilting in your deadlift or whatever. It really does make a difference. Now, the next thing that we do with El Gordito is we actually have enough space in between these collars that you can rack this thing on any standard barbell rack. A lot of stubby axle bars actually minimize the space in between here, so you can't rack on a standard rack. 
What racking on a standard rack gains you is when you're doing shoulder to overhead work, you don't have to get the bar up off the ground in order to get it on your shoulders and then to go overhead. So if you're looking to really build amazing shoulders, amazing lats, it makes it a lot easier because you can just walk into a rack and the barbell is there and ready to go. So if you love this, let me tell you a few exercises that you should try out with it. So first of all, deadlift. This is the most typical axle bar exercise where you're just gonna be lifting this up from ground to the hang and then back down again. That's one. The next thing you can do is at the top of that deadlift, just hang onto the bar, do a farmer's hold, hang onto it as long as you can. Number three, and I already mentioned this, is to do shoulder to overhead. And when you're doing shoulder to overhead, you can either be pressing, that is to say just using your muscles, or you can do some sort of push press. So you're using a little bit of the hips, or you can even jerk it when you're catching it in a lower position. The next thing to do is to try out some axle bar benches. Now, one other thing about the axle bar is that this sleeve does not rotate, so be aware of that, but it's really gonna work your bench in a way that a standard bar would not. A couple of others, try some axle bar curls. Again, you're gonna be building those really strong forearms because you're working your grip so much. And then you can flip around and you can do some axle bar rows. Again, a lot of grip work, a lot of forearm work. And finally, and this is something that a lot of people don't even think of, is you can do a lot of landmine work with this. So we sell a lot of great bars at Fringe Sport. A lot of times people don't want to put their awesome bar into a landmine sleeve because they're worried about scuffing it up. Well, one of the great things about an axle bar is that it's really a pretty inexpensive bar. So if you're gonna throw it into a landmine sleeve and possibly scratch it up, you don't really have to worry that much because you're not scratching up a $300, $400, $800 bar. This has been Peter talking about El Gordito, stubby axle bar from Fringe Sport. Of course, you can find it and everything else we carry at www.fringesport.com. And like I mentioned before, check us out on Facebook at Garage Gym Revolution. And if you're watching this long, Go ahead and make me smile and lift something heavy today.